Thank you. Thank you. Right, Jose. This is Mr. Jose Pizarro, a huge, huge chef uh, around the world, worldwide known. Um, Spanish origin, yes. living here in the UK. Um, do you say you're English or Spanish? Where are you now? Um, Spanish. <laughs> you know, home is London. Okay. That means a lot. Yeah. But definitely I need to go back to Spain mm. to, mm. to see mama and to see family. Mm. But London is my home. You mentioned your mum. Mm -hmm. um, what impact and influence did your childhood have on you becoming a chef? This is funny enough. My mum and my dad, they were farmers. And uh, my mum my mom always was helping my dad. That means that very early morning, go to the milky cows, work all day, um, but always we have breakfast, lunch and dinner. Together? Not together. <laughs> but my mom had that time for herself. You know, it's one hour I'm going to be cooking, I need this time for me. Mm. That means then when I was coming to see her, how she was cooking, she was just, you go away from here. I don't have the time for you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Seeing it, I think, when you are busy, when you are, you know, running business with my dad, that time in the kitchen to make, uh, to make food was so important for her. Of course, I was behind her, I was looking what she was doing. Mm -hmm. uh, she was all the time, go away, I don't want to see you here. Mm -hmm. Or sit there and just look into me. And when I was like, mama, <laughs> mama, <laughs> the third time I knew she's gonna be running around behind me. I was mama, I was running from her mm -hmm. and she was the slippery, you know, when I was tiny. Um, more important thing for me, I, I took for my mom, is that time and that love that you have to put in the food. Mm. You know, um, was, was that like a life lesson for you going forward? Yes, yes. It's the love that you, she was, you know, she was very busy, she was very tired. But that time cooking for us was her escape and the way to say, you know, to my family, guys, I love mm. you. That's amazing. And, yeah. and it's not many things that can do that, but food. Food, food does that, huh? It totally. brings people together. Yeah. It's all about that. And um, me and a chef, it's important food, it's important to go with love. But something I love is to bring people home. Mm. To bring people home, to cook for them, <laughs> open a nice bottle of wine, always help. Yeah. But red red or white, what's the... Uh, I think I will start with a sherry, you know, mm -hmm. and then white, and then red, and then a brandy. All in one night? All in one night. Oh. <laughs> I'll be on I will the floor. Say, I'll be no, on the floor no, no, sleeping no, no. early. I will say, come to mine at 11.30. Some food is going to be ready. Is this an we, invitation? We, yeah. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Is it? 12.30, food on the table, glass of sherry, cook together, wow. sit down, and then we'll see how the day goes. Mm, no, good. That is the important thing for me. I, I love that as well. We, that's what we're about in our family. Sundays especially is a big day in our house to all be around the table, mm. the kids, family, external family as well. I just want to take you back a little bit. Like We all see you now. Michelin star restaurants, great um, books. I don't have Michelin. No, no, we're working. Working, working. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the exposure and the recognition that you have, but what jobs led you to where you are today? Did you have any other jobs outside of cooking? I, funny enough, I... Uh, I studied dentic technician. Hmm? Dentist technician, yeah. Why uh, is it always a big shift? I speak to chefs and it's always something obscure they've done before. Look, um, I, went, I was in a village, like we say, a very small village, and then I went to study to the main village in, in my area. And, uh, and I was not very good student at all, you know? Not be, no bad person, no bad, no bad, good student. Mm -hmm. And in some point my dad told me, Jose, or you do something for yourself and you study, or you coming back to the farm. Mm -hmm. Mamma mia, next day I got <laughs> the best student ever. And what I did, um, I have something called uh, ADHD. Yep. That means concentrating for me is quite, it's quite difficult now. But I'm good, you know, to be in front of a, you know, learning by books is not my, my thing. But I, I'm very good with carving. 
that for me to make do f- or to make anything like that was absolutely perfect. Mm-hmm. And I passed my 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 exam very quick, three years, pam pam pam. And then uh, I start uh, looking for a job. I found a job, and uh, that was like three months gap. Yeah, and I thought I need to do something, and I start doing a cookery course. Oh wow! With a view to being a chef, or? no, just to waste. Not to waste, sorry. Yeah. To, to, to use Still my time. time. Yeah. Wow. That's it. So when, was, when did it trigger to you, that light bulb moment, I'm going to be a chef, not a dentist? It was when, I, when you start in the school, hospitality, they sent to you to, to, to learn since the beginning. And uh, I think it's important when you, when you are a chef or you want to be in that job, you need to know the beginning. At the beginning, it's kitchen porter. Mm. You need to know how to organize a kitchen. And of course, it's very important, all the washing up. And uh, they sent to me to to that. And uh, I just fell in love. Not the washing up. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that's no crazy. Way. But it was so lovely to see uh, people working together, talking together. When you are dentic technician, you are in your desk working. But to be in a kitchen, the noise, the smells, I say, this is what I want to be. Mm-hmm. This is the environment I want to spend my time. And it was not just that, bring my life back, my memory back to when I was a kid in the farm, in the vegetable garden, in the smell from the kitchen. You know, everything came to my brain and said, wow, there's something going on here. Mm-hmm. And it was all about the past, all about that time I didn't spend, or I spent a little bit with my mom, bring all memories together, mm. all flavors, all the smells. Yeah, smells do that, smells Is and it? flavors. Music, smells and flavors yeah. always bring you back to a time in life. Time in right? life. And it's when I um, I went to my family and said, Mom, Dad, um, I have something <laughs> to say. What is now? I say, I don't want to be, I don't want to go to Seville anymore. We have the job. Was. To be a dentist. I say, okay, what now? I say, I want to be a chef. <laughs> Are you sure? It's only a time in the... Wow. I, say, I want to be a chef. I want to be a chef. I want to spend my time in that places, in that environment. I want to be creative with the flavors and the smell I had when I was a child. Mm. And that's that's it. Nothing to do before, nothing to do. My mom cook for me when I was a student, nothing ever in my life I thought I'm going to be a chef. So on that journey then when you made that decision, was there any moments where you was there and you've gone, wow, I've made the wrong decision or where it just wasn't going to plan and you had to deal with some uncertainty? Uh, Not really. Well, always uh, it's great now to be a chef because now um, you know, it's more regulated. We don't do as many hours as before, but it was tough. It was tough mm-hmm. in that time because um, it was no eight hours or ten hours a day. You know, sometimes it was starting eight in the morning and half a wedding and finish half twelve or one wow. o'clock in Spain, and that was tough. Hard work. That was hard work. That goes back to your mum, though. Huh? Yeah, but everything. If you want something in your life, you have to work hard. Mm. You know. Mm. And, and you will never regret to to be in another field than they were um, they where I am now. Mm. Um, I'm meeting so many people. Sorry, I'm sitting next to you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm proud. I'm proud. It's a pleasure for me. No, you know, it's the people you are meeting, the customers you have. It's it's amazing. It's amazing because you're learning. Yeah, from everyone, you know. And, uh, I want to touch on a point you mentioned about about having people in your kitchen, and th- that comes with you being a leader mm. as the head chef there. Mm. How do you lead? What's the, the, the fundamentals of your leadership? Um, you need to be the first one there and the last one to leave. Mm. As simple as that. So Alex Ferguson, the same. You, know, you need to, if you tell someone about how to do that, you need to know how to do it. Mm. I cannot do the same thing I was doing before. I cannot do the 16-hour shift. No, my chef, any of them do. Um, 
but yeah it's you, it's important to be there it's important mm. to be there and teach people because if you are there and you have that position now it's because they can do as well they can get there as well and uh, and for me it's important to you know my team my family grow with me mm. you know it's six restaurants now seven seven in the next two months it's all about my team it's all about uh, you know it's a family and we work together to get something how do you how do you create um, that environment like where like you say family you seem mm -hmm. like a very family orientated but create a family but then find the balance with your family with mm -hmm. work uh, the, you know in the beginning I was a chef with that bad temperament long mm -hmm. many years ago I was like oh, so you was angry I crazy. was not angry angry with <laughs> myself really I think I was uh, because maybe I was not confident with myself I'm very confident you know I work hard I want but, um, but it's it's just people need to learn from you and you need to teach them. And, uh, and it's like we say, it's just work together. Mm. Work together and believe in something. You know, you have to believe in the, in the future. You have to teach the people and you, we need to grow. Mm. And it's the beauty, you know? You, you seem very passionate about what you do. And, and I'd like to know, what, what is your purpose in life? I, <laughs> I think the thing I have is my purpose. Mm -hmm. I, for me, when I arrived to the UK 24 years ago, people didn't understand much about the Spanish cuisine, Spanish flavors, you know? And, uh, and for me, it was like, I was with my jamón ibérico almost <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and, um, and always I say, you know, everyone say, when they try, it was like, wow, this Parma ham is amazing. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was like, you know, Parma ham is great, but this is jamón ibérico. Yeah, it's different. Totally different. If you haven't totally tried different Iberica ham, uh, Hamon compared to Parma Ham, you've not lived. It's, it's different product. Yeah, yeah. It's a completely different product. And that hurts. And for me, it was like, I came to the UK, I didn't speak any English. My accent is still very strong for 24 years mm. living here in the UK. Um, Did you make that? I think you had to. You've got, I've got to learn a language. I need to if I'm going to stay here. I had to, because in the beginning I was working with the Spanish people, living with the Spanish people, going out with the Spanish people. For me, it was impossible to learn. But if you wanted to learn more, to meet properly new friends, you have to learn the language. Mm. You have to. And that was when I, I say, now I need to learn. Mm. You said you've got seven restaurants. In the sure. next two months, you'll have seven restaurants. That's a busy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. How do you avoid burnout? Because I know what it's like. We've all got busy schedules, but burnout is a real issue. Yeah, it is a more, you know, stressful environment as mm -hmm. a kitchen, no? And I run a business. Um, I just walk. <laughs> when, I, when I'm very burned, and, you know, and I just take my dogs, maybe, or just myself. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was like, oh, what now? How I feel like things are not as should be because sometimes happens you know mm. sometimes I'm, I'm meaning so small things to, to sometimes make you like wow crazy yeah I walk so always I say something nothing better when you just finish work sometimes you just walking home or drive home go to the Millennium Bridge St. Paul the Tate look into London around you and you say look Life is fine. <laughs> yeah. Go back home and go to sleep. Mm. It's true. Sometimes you've got to simplify it. Not everything yeah. means so much. Yeah. No, it's true. It's so, so many, it's, you know, tiny things. Because you are tired. You just, you know, you have big responsibilities in your, mm. in your shoulders. No? Yeah. Do, do you have an influential person in your life? Like for them moments maybe or when times are good or just a little bit of advice at the critical time. Do you have an influential person who you turn to sometimes? Like uh, I will go back to my family. I will go back to my family and, um, and go back to where I'm coming from, um, a rural, really tiny village where, you know, people work very hard. And I think my mom and my dad, they are influenced to me in the way I, I want to see things, you know. Mm. I think they are very important. People. That's good. I mean, your family must be super proud. Books, mm -hmm. restaurants, etc. I I have to be proud of them. You know, proud mm -hmm. of them uh, because it's it's all about that. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm here in London. You know, I don't have my family. I have my partner, Peter. Um, but friends, friends is the family that we choose. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm very lucky. I have 
very big family here in the UK mm. than uh, we enjoy together. We, we were talking before we came on and then we, we started recording and you were saying the importance of food in a climate like we're in today. Can you just elaborate on that a little bit? I think, uh, yeah, uh, food, uh, we, we get too many confused things about many different things, but food is the base for me of everything. You know, food is where made me happy and made people happy and bring people together. Um, and I, I, I will always say, you know, I go out for lunch and dinners or whatever, and if the food is bad, make me unhappy. Day. Yeah, it ruins your day. It's yeah, true. even with you or with your partner or your, you just keep arguing. Mm. And in the end of the in the end of the meal, it's just like food was bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. My my wife, she worries so much when she puts the food on the table. Yeah. She ends up. She asks me so many questions. Do you like it? Is it nice? Is it the right texture? I said, please let me relax and eat the food. The, just enjoy. Yeah, yeah, nice. No, uh, you know, when someone cooks for you, can be not great, but sure they did the best for you. Mm. And with that, only for that, yeah, when they've it's done enjoyable. It, you, when you know that they've taken care and they've, they've put their heart into it, exactly. the taste, you can, you can let it be a little bit down. Yeah, you, know, you are good in one thing and good in another one. Mm, that's true. I've got two, a couple of quick fire questions. Right, what's your best meal? Uh, my best meal, many of them, I'd be lucky. Uh, the last one being in my house in Zara, South Spain, in Cadiz. Plenty of friends. I was cooking. Someone was playing guitar, singing flamenco, and seeing the sunset. Mm. That is the last I best that. meal I had. Worst meal? I was in Scotland, and that was a meal. I have to say, and <laughs> I arrived there and uh, to cook for lovely people, and uh, we arrived to the hotel. Kitchen was closed, no food to go. We went for a meal in one of the supermarkets, and that was just bad. What was it? There was a sandwich, you know, the egg and the oh, crisps, horrendous, horrendous. and a very sugary uh, thing and a crisps. I yeah. love my crisps, <laughs> so, but when they are bad, and that was ruined because the area was amazing. Everything mm. was so, so perfect. But right. that was wrong. What's the last meal you had? My last meal? Last night. What was the last, last meal? Last night. Where I was last night? Uh, well, my last meal last night was uh, piece and pieces left from my catering. I was doing a catering in the Royal Academy. Okay. And uh, and was uh, jamón left over <laughs> from my guests. And uh, some carrots, uh, pickled carrots with uh, goat cheese. Very good. Left over from, uh, not left over, but you know. Just the, the remains. The remains. My last question, Spain or England? Uh, I want to spend six times in Spain, six months in Spain, six months yeah. in, in England. Okay. That is my working in progress. Okay. Have you got something to give me? I've just seen something there. No, this is a, is they it? told me to bring something special. Something, <laughs> something means a lot to me. Okay. That been with me for the last 25 years. I don't know if it was for talking. And this was, um, this is a teaser. Everyone brings you teaser to sign, you know. But this teaser, um, they told me to bring something. It's very close to my heart. And uh, this teaser was with me. My friends gave to me when I came to the UK. Wow. And uh, I think it's one of the things more I wear wear more in my life. No anymore. It's too small. <laughs> uh, but means a lot. Look at that. And, in the end of the day, this is the bull that you saw everywhere in Spain. Mm. I tattoo that bull here. Oh, you have it on you, okay, okay. Of me. Uh, to remind my country, to remind my heritage, to remind my roots. And the fun enough, I'm working now for that company. No way. <laughs> As ambassador. Wow. Thing. Can you open yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. As you can imagine, it's very old. It's very small. Wow. But that means a lot to me. You know, this I love is that. Uh, uh, meaningful. Meaningful. Meaningful because it's our roots. Mm. You know, they gave to me yeah. to say, you know, this is your, mm. your good. place. I appreciate that. I love it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Lovely to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Thank you.